Um, welcome back. Um, if we could, Corey, do we have anything we need to do with the attendance? I know you say we're being... No, the attendance packets for each of our uh, committees that we're meeting jointly today um, are included in your packets. Um, as, this is a reminder, we're running this joint committee meeting as a policy committee meeting. Um, so the other committee is there just for informational purposes um, for your various committees reference. So. Right, thank you. Um, moving on to our minutes from September 4th. Do I have any um, changes on those minutes? If not, I'll entertain a motion. Move the minutes to accept. Thank you, Mayor. So I'll second. Okay. All those in favor? Uh, any opposition? Unanimous. Yes. Thank you. Old business, Corey? No. Okay. New business, we have our amendment for our 2014 Unified Planning Work Program. Our resolution and your uh, recommended action is to vote for it. Any background on this? Yes, um, on page 11 of your packet, this is resolution 2014-2. This is a standard resolution that we uh, complete every year. As we wrap up our previous fiscal year activities, we amend in our previous year's unspent balances into our current fiscal year budget. Um, so you'll notice here that we are carrying over uh, fiscal year 2013 funds in, a, in the amount of $148,000 total. $130,000 of that is federal, and $29,000 is local funds split evenly between the city of Valdosta and Lowndes County. On page 12, you see how that breaks out into our uh, budget summary report. Um, it is located, that $118,000 federal funds is located on the lower left-hand corner um, under FY13 carryover. The funds were distributed by the percentages that you see there throughout our various work elements. Um, this is only federal highway funds. Um, we do not carry over federal transit administration funds. So the only numbers that have changed on this chart are the ones on the left hand side. Um, other than that, um, I would ask if anybody has any questions. Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to authorize us to approve this. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Yeah. Uh, Any opposed? Thank you. Corey, our amendment for item B. Second amendment. Yes, our transportation improvement program, um, we adopted it back in September. Um, we already have an amendment to it. This is requested by the Georgia Department of Transportation to amend additional funding for two projects. You'll see this beginning on page 13. This is, or the two projects in reference are I, the right-of-way projects. The first one being the interchange improvements at I-75 and exit 22 and exit 29. They are adding an additional nearly $4 million additional total funding to that project for right-of-way acquisition this year, bringing the total cost of right-of-way acquisition for that project to $20 million. For the um, second project, which is I-75 at exit 11, the interchange improvement there, that is adding about $100,000 total to right-of-way acquisition costs for that interchange. Over the last 15, and it's, and it's shifting it to 2016. Oh, you, you, thank you, Mike. Yes, uh, shifting that year to 2016. Just that one, not that one. Just for that one. Uh, exit 22 and exit 29 remain in uh, fiscal year 14. We ran a public comment period over the last 15 days for both of these projects. We received zero public comment, and no one attended our public open house held last Thursday. Um, so we did not have any comments received from the public on these projects. Um, this project, um, or this amendment uh, and resolution includes also as well an amendment to our long-range transportation plan. If you recall when we did our transportation improvement program adoption a month ago, we had to also amend, administratively amend our uh, 2035 transportation plan to update those costs. 
So today, separately, on a separate sheet of paper, I've provided the updated costs that will appear in our new amended uh, 2035 transportation plan, and that is the sheet uh, that has the blue ink on it. The projects in blue have been changed as a result of our uh, fiscal year 2014 to 2017 transportation improvement program. And those changes for this, these two projects appear on that sheet as well. If there are any questions, um, you can entertain a motion. <coughs> Do we have any? Any questions before we on this? Okay. We need to approve. Right. I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, tip resolution. Okay. Does that work? Or do you need to reference this? I, I would say we need to reference the long range plan amendment. Uh, and the long range plan amendment to the resolution. Okay. So, motion for approval for both documents. Second, Second from Mr. Leonard. Do we hear any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Uh, do I have any oppositions? Yes, I'm calling. Motion passes. <coughs> what would you like to introduce this one? Yes. Um, as you recall, over the last six months or so, we've been working with uh, Transport Studio 